hi guys welcome back to another video as you can tell from the title i'll be teaching you how to make that cute christmas intro you saw from the beginning of the video if you're interested please keep watching give this video a thumbs up and let's get started So first of all, I'm screen recording for my iPhone. All you have to do for the very first step is to go on Safari, click on Safari, click on Google and search for Christmas backgrounds. Okay, so when you type Christmas backgrounds, um, it gives you a whole variety of images you can select and that is what you are going to use for the videos or the short intros that you are going to make. So you long press hold and save any image that's suitable for you. I choose, I specify specifically choose two images for my background my christmas background and after that you are going to um, click on pixart and this is when you um, go ahead to cut your image so pixart um, is both available on android and iphone so when the app opens you click on all photos and then you are going to add an image um, that you are going to use basically for the intro so you are going to cut this image so just select the image you want to use and click on cutout so after clicking on cutout you click on person so that's the person button right on, that's the first button so the person button automatically select the image and then you click on preview and the background goes so you get to know where exactly you can um, adjust to cut out the image perfectly so I'm after that you zoom in and erase the background you realize that some places when because it was automatic some places were not erased properly so you just have to zoom in and erase and the places that are cut out you just restore and then you get a perfect cutout for it so after that you click on next and you click on save and then you click on download photo and you are going to cut out as many images as you want i don't i personally don't have a lot of images so i just cut out um, about two images so after that you are going to select the background and click on tools and click after that you click on the crop button so the crop button gives you the opportunity to um, select the youtube dimension which is the last on the list and then then you um, click on add photo which gives you the opportunity to add the image you cut out so i just clicked on the image i cut out and i zoomed in to fit perfectly on the screen as you can see and then i'm going to uh, do some few editing by blurring and making it opaque so that it becomes more realistic and i can just add a contrast to make it more appealing and you can just add uh, some highlights you can increase the highlights to make it a little bit bright and yes you just have to play around with the editing so um i just reduce the brightness a little because we're a little bright and just click on next and you just save your image to your gallery so it's very important for you to um, at least have four or three images with this cutout and christmas background so that you get this variety for your intro so after that you click on adobe spark post and then you click on library and you just select um the picture that we just edited so make sure it's in its original background which is the youtube 6, 16 is to 9 um feature so now you just click on where the text is you can just write something like merry christmas any catchy words um depicting christmas and then you it gives you the opportunity to select the font and the type of shape the shape gives it a nice look for the background and you can select all types of shapes you can select all types of designs too i just love this app it gives you a lot of varieties as well so you can click on layout layout can give you a different dimension and it can change the whole design as well when um, you click on the design button so it gives you the opportunity to have a lot of variety and it depends on what you want for your feature but i'm just going to go with a simple design which is the merry christmas sisters design the one i chose first so you click on animation as well and it gives you the opportunity to select the animation i selected the zoom animation so you realize that my 
picture zooms in and my text is clear so i'm just fixing it um the way i want it to be so that it becomes bold for a lot of you guys to see so yes after that you click on the upper button the green button and then you click on video animation so you must save it in animation and it's really important to do this so after that you are going to screen record your instagram profile okay so um the screen record button is down there you just click on the screen record if you are using an iphone and then you just slowly record and save it to your gallery so after that you are going to go back to adobe spark post and then you click on the next image this is another edited image i made with the same cutout and christmas background as i told you it's essential for you to do a lot of it so i'm going to click on add image and select the instagram and facebook handles okay so i'm going to show you how i did it i went on pixart okay so when you click on pixart scroll down you are going to see color backgrounds the very first background is the transparent background so after you click on that back background you click on sticker and then you search for facebook logo or whatever logo you are going to use so i went in for this aesthetic logo and i just love it so i just zoomed um i just reduced the sizing and i added the text there are several font texts and yes i just choose the one that i feel like so you just write your fb handle and position it right beside the logo and you can change the font as well you can also go ahead to edit change the colors and you can change the opacity and blurness of the image as well so after that you click on apply and then you save to your gallery okay so that's how i did it so let's go back to spark post okay so that's how i got those so i'm just going to select both which is the instagram and facebook handles using the how i edited the with the pixel okay so i'm positioning it just beside the image okay so um, i might reduce image and yeah so after i click on add text and i write something catchy so i just write let's stay connected with exclamation marks and i position it just beside the image you can change your colors you can change the shape as well as i showed you um previously it gives you a lot of variety as you can see you can um change the design as well it comes with a lot of variety of designs for free everything is free here okay so i ended up using the, this circle design very simple i like my thing simple and i zoomed um i made it a little bit small and i added an animation so just click on animation and i clicked on um pan p-a-n so this is a zoom feature and this is the next one is the pan feature and that's what um, i'll be using but you can choose any of your choice so after that you have to click the green thing above and click on video animation okay So next you are going to click on youtube and you are going to screen record so first of all you just go on the youtube button and click um the subscribe button search for subscribe button animations there are several nice and cute subscribe buttons animations with green screens so um, you can just screen record them and edit okay so just click the very last button there which is the screen recording and record and also you have to search snowing animations and get a green screen snowing um video and screen record as well okay so yeah it's, it's just going to save automatically to your gallery so after that you click on in shots and then you just select the videos you worked with um on spark post as well as the instagram recorded screen record video as well so um, um it will come automatically on in shorts and then you just zoom in to get the white uh more than in background okay so that it fits perfectly so with the instagram recording we are going to crop okay so we are going to use the youtube uh, size which is 16 is to 9 and then we are going to um, cut out um, on wanted parts okay so i'm just going to speed it a little because the video is too long and we need our intros to be very short okay so these are the three things so after that you click on the plus beside 
and you add another image so this is the subscribe button i preferred okay i screen recorded it on instagram it's a pink subscribe button so after that you click on crop and then you crop it to the youtube size as usual and then you cut the unwanted part so the last part is unwanted so i just split i click on split and then i click on delete okay so the, um this is how it's going to look so far okay so i'm just going to add another as well okay so click on the plus again and click on video slash photo so i added my official um outro um, intro logo okay so i have this already okay it's my brand name just animated okay so i just added it to my intro i love it um as part of my intros um to make it more um exclusive okay but it's optional okay it's not everyone that has the brand logo thing and because of my business that's why i selected this so after that i'm going to split and cut and delete and make it short okay so the very first one you saw me just splitting and i rearranged okay so i just added another um video which was a previous video i made okay and i just split to get the background okay so um that video had a beginning with my brand name so i just um added it to get that um, nice brand name effects with a zoom in okay so this is how it is it's three pictures it's literally three animated pictures and um my brand logo um, um animation so yes yeah, so after that you click on PIP okay and then you add the screen recording with a snowflake with recorded on YouTube okay so after that you make sure that um, you are splitting to get the right amount and the right section so they, some parts had the text so I had to cut them out and yes so this is how it's going to cover the screen at first so after that I'm going to click on edit okay click on the edit button and click on the um last button okay so it gives you the opportunity to make it opaque okay so you realize that when you make it opaque you can see the snow thing for um design inside the images okay and that's the effect we need okay so yes you can just see that there's this snowing effect in the images okay so um, i'm just going to click on pip again and then split at that moment i just want it on the images not the um, logo animation and the other so the effect is going to start from the beginning to where the logo animation starts okay and the subscribe button is there as well so the intro is building up little by little and the subscribe button was a little bit like longer so i had to um delete some parts i had to split okay so i split it and made it a little bit short and i increased the volume for the subscribe button as well so that you get that sound effect okay so after that i'm going to save and go back to bitlip this is optional okay it's not um by force to use bitlip um uh, but i just love to gets the i love the effects that it gives to the intro so i just click on beat sleep and click on any music and click on fast cut okay so i just click on the fast cut it gives me the opportunity to uh, get some effects on it and make sure you select um, for the segments you do select um, the 15 minute segments you don't want your intro to be too long okay so i i clicked on 15 minutes so the length of the video is going to be 15 minutes sorry the length okay so that's how it's going to be so the bit lips gives you the opportunity to add other effects you can zoom in you can flash you can um uh, what's the name you can split okay um so i love to use these three effects the fast cuts this um the flash and then the zoom effect okay so i love to use this three and it's optional so after that you click on video lip by light tricks and it does all the tricks okay you click on the plus sign and you select the image you just saved from beat sleep okay 
sorry the video you just saved from bitlip so i'm going to split the points where the transition is to another picture okay so i'm just going to click on split um, where the arrow is i position it on and click on split and i'm also going to split um, from the logo design to where my instagram recording was so yes yeah, split it as well and yeah these are the only three splits i'm going to do so after that i'm just going to click on that uh, minus that is it minus or plus that sign when i split it the sign that was there and i'm just going to select zoom in so zoom in will be the transition okay so the uh, transition also can affect the length of the intro so make sure that you select a lesser um what's the name seconds so i sent it to 0 0.28 seconds okay so that the uh, difference won't be that much and it won't end up becoming too short okay so that you can see um the things i've written and the movement okay so that's how i did i did it to all the um the, the other transitions as well so after that i'm just going to um add the instagram logo is optional okay i just placed it on where i recorded the instagram um, scrolling okay so i just added my instagram handle on top um, for my business page and it's optional so it would appear when the recording is on okay just something catchy for you and it's, as i told you it's optional so this is how it's going to be like and with the subscribe button as well the effects are simple and easy so you can also utilize other animation features on video lip and you just have to play and see that everything is perfect before you save the video so when you're saving the video make sure the resolution is 4k 60 uh, megapixels okay so it, it gives you the high quality feature you need so after that you click on in short you click on the plus sign and you click on the video you just saved from video leap and then you just import it so as you can see this is how it's going to be we are almost done so i'm just going to change the sound okay and i didn't like the sound from the beat slip so i'm just going to extract the sound from my older um christmas intro video and i'm just going to place it on top so you just click on the volume button and you click on the extract and then you just bring it to the new um, intro okay so that's how i extracted and i'm cutting out unwanted parts okay which is really important okay so i'm just cutting out unwanted parts and i extracted and placed it at where it's supposed to so that the uh, so that the video corresponds with the audio key so when it comes to the subscribe button i also extracted it from the original subscribe button because i lost the sound from bitslip so i just extracted it and place it directly on top of it so i just jump cutted it okay so cutting out the dead space in between because i cut um i made it a little bit short okay the subscribe button animation was a little bit long so i just jump cut it and i made sure that um, the sound went um, in corresponding with the subscribe movement the animation movement for the subscribe button is really important so you just replay and make sure everything is on track and then um, there's this little space in between okay so i'm just going to cut it out so i'm just making sure that everything is placed and i'm replaying and i just added a little bit speed from the beginning and i'm just going to cut that space okay so split and then cut in the dead space and then voila um you have your perfect video okay so i think the video and the, the intro video ended up to be 13 seconds which is really really perfect okay we don't need long intros okay so it's important for it to be very short so yeah i just love the intro the movement how simple it is and you can also utilize and add in more animations and it depends on what you want okay but i just love it very simple and unique but anyway i'm still going to add um 
an effect so i'm going to click on filter effect click on glitch and then the glitch effect appears so i'm just going to drag it at my um, logo adoma the crochet logo my logo animation and then i'm just going to um, cut it split to in such a way that it affects only when the logo movement is okay so that's what we need yeah you can add extra logos there's the zoom logo there's a chic there's a soul logo so i'm just going to add a little bit of the zoom sorry the zoom um effects from the beginning okay so i think this is perfect so this is my final intro with the music i just love it <laughs> so um after you're done you just replay make sure everything is right on track and um, i feel like this intro is so superb so easy to make and yes make sure you always save in 4k InShot gives you the opportunity to save your videos in 4k or any other dimension i feel like the highest quality gives you the best results so make sure you always save it like this i hope this video was helpful as well please do give this video a thumbs up leave encouraging comments and follow me on my social media handles check the description for extra information and i'll see you in my next tutorial have a merry christmas and stay safe bye bye